Welcome. In front of me is a OnePlus Nord CE3 Lite and today I will show you a couple of tweaks and tricks you can do on this phone. So anyway, let's just get straight into it. I'm going to open up settings and in here we can begin by navigating into the display and the brightness and we have at the first place dark mode which probably will be the most common thing. Now typically you can change obviously from light to dark and vice versa uh, but since like a couple androids ago versions of it uh, you do have also the option for a schedule mode meaning that when you enable it you can then select to automatically switch between light and dark mode uh, between like sunset to sunrise or on a custom timer so therefore your device will automatically switch to uh, arguably the better option I would say. So as an example, during the daytime you can have it in light mode, which personally that's what I'll prefer it. And during the nighttime, uh, when it gets dark, uh, you will have it in dark mode, meaning that during the night you won't be flashbanging yourself and during the daytime you actually can see your display. Now moving on to the next option, we have the screen refresh rate, which is also under display and brightness. So we can scroll down and we have it right here. Now by default it's going to be set to high, uh, but if you want, you can change it to standard. Now, the reason I'm just showing this is strictly for battery preservation uh, and nothing else. I personally consider high to be the better option because the smoothness does kind of add a lot to the uh, user experience of the device. Uh, but like I said, standard might, well, not might, but will reduce your refresh rate, but also give you a better battery life. So for the people that are looking for the best battery life possible and don't really care too much about uh, how the device feels, like the smoothness of it and so on, uh, then just stick with the standard. Everyone else, high will probably be the go-to option. Anyway, um, moving on, we can now go back to the main settings page and here we have the wallpaper and style. Now, apart from wallpaper, which will be just like whatever, uh, we have a couple additional things which not every device allows you to change, like for instance, your fonts. So we have sizes, uh, we have actual like font choices. I believe if you download more fonts, they will appear in here, but uh, there's almost nothing on this device. So it's the default, everything. We also have icons. So you can choose between icon packs right here. You can also change the uh, size of them, uh, change the art of certain icons you can hide names and also up names. We can just kind of make it smaller or bigger. Now going back, uh, here we also have colors, which will allow you to change the colors of several different things. Now, right here we have the typical uh, Android look. So we have the blue control panel and then like green bubbles and so on. But as you can see, we have several different options right here that are already pre-made. And we can also make it so it chooses the colors automatically based on the wallpaper, which is what I personally like a little bit more. So that's what I'm gonna select. And right off the bat, you can see that it already has different colors. Now, anyway, let's move over to the next option, which will be the status bar uh, icons. So one neat feature on OnePlus is the ability to hide these icons right here, like the NFC, Bluetooth, Wi-Fi, and so on. So if you want to get rid of them, just not see them, I'm gonna navigate to notification and status bar, then status bar, and here we have a bunch of different things we can toggle off. So, I'm just gonna start toggling off everything just to kind of show how much we can turn off because not everything will be turned off. Battery style and here we can also change the notifications right here. So we just turned off all the toggles uh, like Bluetooth and so on, but notifications are a separate thing. Now by default they will be showing each individual icon. Uh, if it extends to uh, showing too many, it just kind of stops showing them. Obviously you can pull down your notifications to view the, uh, view the notifications that are there. But you can also change it to a more compact number. So this will just show you the amount of notifications you have. As you can see for me it's two. Or you can completely hide it. Now I personally do like the show number because it's pretty clean. Uh, while still giving me a info on how many notifications I have. So there we go. 
and let's move over to the last option which is the system navigation so for this we're gonna navigate to i believe it was additional settings system navigation and here we have our uh, button navigation along with the gesture navigation so these are the two things that you will actually see throughout your setup of the device and you can choose from either one of them but what you don't see in the setup is the additional uh, option for at least the gestures which is this one hiding the gesture bar or guide bar as it's called which just hides this bar from the bottom giving you a much cleaner look to your device and that is something that i like to at least change on devices like this now if you're looking at these uh, tweaks tricks more generally for like android uh, i'm gonna point out that not every android will have these for instance like the hiding of the uh, status bar icons that's uh, primarily though not uh, not in its entirety accessible on oneplus there's a couple additional brands that do this but for the most part oneplus is one of the uh, very small amount of brands that allows you to do this along with hiding the bar uh, as an example most of the devices i believe have this option but some of them samsung for instance does an atrocious job with it and i wouldn't recommend hiding the guide bar on samsung it's a just a complete mess and not a very fun experience here it does work pretty well it doesn't just break anything like samsung does so yeah it's pretty good so anyway with this being said if you found this video helpful don't forget to hit like subscribe and thanks for watching